Imagine if you had to wake up at 3.30 in the morning to start your day, to be able to run some few errands and do some chores at home. And then through that time, get ready to make some tea and to be able to start reading before you go to school at 6 a.m. When you go to school, you study for, for several hours up until 5, 6 p.m. before you leave to go home. Imagine if this was your time in high school. Imagine if you are a 17 year old girl going through this on a day to day basis in order to become successful and receive the education you need to move yourself forward. This might seem like an imagination or a fabricated story, but it is a reality to a student called Daisy. A student who is fighting all sorts of barriers and challenges to be able to gain a quality education so she can someday become a lawyer. This is the story of Daisy. My name is Desh Chukgaon and this is my story. But after all, I'm determined to get what I have. But I won't mind narrating for you my difficulties. I've come a very long way. My life, don't, <laughs> don't. Yes, don't. Be strong. <laughs> Be strong. I always emulate what you're doing. Don't cry. I'll do so. Okay, fine. It's okay. But my father passed on. I was sick class four because the, our health, our brother was in class eight. He got an accident as he was in his way to home and just here from the He got an accident there and they went up. Yeah, that is how it came to be. Yes, but you know, it's, it's better if they were working. Maybe I could consider them or I could take them like my own father. So now they're not working. I can not trust them. You give me this, you give me this. They are also depending on mom. They are also depending on the relations. So it's better if the daddy will love being alive. especially me, of only a mother. So being away from her is actually difficult. It needs a heart, actually a heart, so that you can so that you can achieve what you have for. If you lose hope right now, you can't be the kind of a person you want to be. 
me, like me, I just told by myself and I say, I've just decided that whichever thing will come to my side, I won't care. The only thing which I am for is only my education, my life. Being away from my mother. You know, when I was in primary level, I used to be with my mother. De- despite the difficulties, because you know, African, we are, there is a challenge of poverty, but it's better because my mom used to consider my education being something which is very precious. She could sometimes tell me, stop cooking, stop doing whatever you're doing, and go read. She could sometimes remind me, what are you doing? That is not what you're supposed to do. You see? That mattered a lot. I, sh- I miss it so much. Like, I, I like my mom, but there's nothing I could do. I just have to read. Mm-hmm. Just have to work hard. Yeah, I can come and help her. Not. She's my mom actually is a very good mom. I've come to learn that. You no, know, somebody cannot know some the the real secret of a somebody when he or she is not close to her. So I've co- I have been close to my mom. I know her personality is very well. She's not she so she doesn't always lose hope. Even in difficulties, she always struggles. She always struggles that. We have to struggle, but we, at, after all, we will achieve what we are for. Only if we struggle and endure hardship. My mother usually tell me that hardship are not meant to destroy you, but only to prove us. That the word I shall live on. I shall remind myself. My mother usually saying that hardship kids are not meant to destroy you. To add you, to make you not to be happy, but they are meant to build you. I'm strong now because of what I've gone through. Okay. I'll say this way. What I had to change the system of education. It's only that. If it is, if it will be, if I will be capable, or I have that capability, only for all to make a rule that all, all as long as you are a child, you are a kid, you are human, you must go to school. You must get edu- educated. Though you don't have money, you must get educated. But that is very difficult. It's really struggling. Actually, for the country we are living now, it's very difficult indeed. So we have to struggle. If I now struggle, sacrifice myself to help another poor person, another one comes in, after all, who will win. And the poor people in the society will emerge victorious at all. They will feel that they are not neglected at all. Like me, I sure, I normally feel that I'm neglected at all. Like if, for instance, now when you are in my home, Yesterday, I'm treated, uh, yani, I'm treated nicely, but when you guys you go, the life just go on the way it usually goes. Yeah. See? Mm-hmm. Me actually, I don't know what I'm in life put, but actually, I'll just say the way I feel and the way I know and the reality. There's nothing I have to hide from you before. You're my life. Because be try not for you, I love not to be in school. Because there's a time I come to I was sent for school fees almost all time. I was not in school. Yes. Then I, I was suddenly like I was asking myself, is this is this life going to be this way every now and then? That is better for me. Leave school. I go look for another chance. Maybe I'll get. Yeah. Actually, I lose hope. 
as well, I have lost hope in life. To an extent, yesterday, I say, it was better for me not to be poor than to see all the difficulties I'm seeing. But all in all, I say, I thank, I thank the mighty Father. He has stood strong with me. He has not left me even in difficulties. He has brought you men. Many of the He has brought you yes. so that you can save me, can assist me. from my heart, I usually say that I work hard right now so that I pass and then I, I join a university that can pursue uh, law course. I want to be a lawyer, I want to be an important person in the society we are living in now. It's not even a matter of aim, I want to be to achieve an aim for you. that's what I'm and I'm determined, and I'm very sure if I work hard, only hard work will take me to that, to achieve what I am for. I want to achieve an A, not even an A minor. With the support you're giving me, actually, I'm not supposed to give that. It's not fair even to myself. C, it's not fair. It's fair. It will be fair to myself and to everybody, even to you guys, if I achieve an A. I usually tell even my teachers know that I usually say I wish it could be a boy. This one mind is that a boy. I could be ready even if it's to go home and come back. I could be reading, reading, thoroughly reading, and seriously reading because they have my time. You no, know, for girls, sometimes it's difficult to reach home. You have to do some some work, you know. Girls, they are beautiful, but boys, they just waste that they eat. So if I was a boy, I would dedicate much of my time and reading. My education actually means a lot about my life. My education is what I usually take it seriously because it's what actually my life is all about education. Nothing can change my life. I can say I want to be this way, I want to be this way, but without education I can't achieve what I want to be. So my education actually means a lot about my life.
as you can see, simply provide access to education for a student in Africa. Just like Daisy, we're able to break the barriers that exist. We're able to unlock an imaginable potential so that students can be able to reach their goals and their dreams. Hopeful Africa is a nonprofit organization that is doing just that. It's an organization that seeks to unlock opportunities for thousands of students in Africa so they're able to achieve their dreams. We believe that through quality education, we can bring progress and unlock the potential that is in Africa. There's a lot of great things happening in this continent. There's a lot of great people waiting to be able to be given the opportunity to become successful, just like Daisy. We hope that you will join us in this movement as we seek to help not just one, not just a hundred, not just a thousand, but even more students in the future so they can receive quality education and unlock the opportunities they need and bring Africa to the full potential that it has.